Well, forget about the end of the ballot. That is the message from Dallas civic and business leaders today who are supporting Proposition A. That is a billion dollar proposal. And what they want to do is build a brand new convention center and revitalize Fair Park. Robbie Owens now with what you should know. Dallas loves to do things big. And now the future of a once in a generation remake of downtown rests with a down ballot measure called Proposition A. It's really important for anyone to be an engaged voter, whether you're 18 years old or you're 88 years old. Um, and it doesn't just stop with the midterm election. Amit Banerjee of Dallas says he worked to get educated on the issue. I got my bag, I got my t-shirt, I'm, I'm excited about Proposition A. Intrigued by the promise of downtown development, anchored by a new convention center, plus much needed renovations to Fair Park, all with no local tax increases. I'm always asking, what's the catch? What's the catch? What's the catch? And um, because typically something like this, it, it, where's the money coming from? It's my favorite kind of money. It's other people's money. Dallas City Council member Gay Danelle Willis joined local business and civic leaders for a Prop A pep rally to show support and explain the funding. This is a tourist tax. It's a 2% hotel occupancy tax increase that will help us fund these amazing improvements for our community. What could possibly go wrong. Well, in the age of Zoom, is there really enough convention and visitor traffic to pick up a billion dollar tab? I personally attend about eight to 10 conferences a year. Visit Dallas board member Maria Mendez insists the answer is yes. There's opportunity for tourism, especially in corporate America. Very alive and well, Robbie. <laughs> We have a tough time bringing in those larger conferences to share everything Dallas has to offer. I want a reason to come back to Fair Park outside of the month of October when the State Fair is here. In Dallas, Robbie Owens, CBS 11 News.